Hi, Lionesses. This is Bobby Carlton. I'm the publisher and editor-in-chief of Lioness Magazine, as well as the founder of Innovation Women. Today, I am talking with Prachi Shevgankar. She's from Cool the Globe. It's an app that helps people reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. But more importantly, she is the creator of a global citizen-led movement for climate action. Thank you so much for joining us, Prachi, and congratulations on all the work that you've been doing. So needed. Thank you so much, Bobby. It's it's my pleasure and an honor to be here. And I'm a fan of all the other interviews you've done with such amazing, amazing women. I'm so honored to be one of them today. <laughs> Aw, thank you. And thank you from all of them. They are pretty darn amazing. And I am so lucky to get to do these interviews. So I want to start off, like Cool the Globe really started as a very personal initiative for you. How did you first get involved in the effort around global warming? Um, so um, it started when, I would say it started when I was still in school uh, and I had not heard that much about climate change, but um, I remember my school teacher giving us an interesting homework one day. She asked us to write a letter to our future selves. Um, Ten years from now, where would I want to be and who would I want to be? Um, I remember writing that letter, but then I completely forgot about it. And 10 years later, I was at a very decisive point. I had to choose my career, which field am I going to be in? Um, and it was at that time that my school sent that letter back to us. And reading it was like a wake up call. Because in it, my younger self had written about making an impact and changing the world. Um, and I had not thought that way in a very long time. So I started thinking about, um, you know, I, I kind of got inspired by the words of the young Prachi and, and the person she aspired to be. And I started thinking about how is it that I can make a meaningful impact in my day-to-day -day life. And so... To try and find an answer to that, I remember doing a Google search on what is the biggest problem in the world right now. And that's when climate change popped up. And I was very surprised to see this because all of these global scientists and experts were talking about how it's the most pressing issue of our times. Nobody around me was really talking about it or doing anything about it in their day-to-day -day lives. And so I started wondering about what it is that an ordinary girl like me from India can do about a big problem like climate change. And in finding an answer to that, I, I think I think that 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 was the beginning of Cool the Globe. All right. So tell us about Cool the Globe. How does it work? Yes. OK, so um, basically, first, I, I just uh, decided to reduce my own greenhouse gas emissions, even before Cool the Globe came to life. Um, you know, I, I went to my parents and I asked them, what do you think I can do about climate change? And we decided to reduce our own greenhouse gas emissions by 10% every year. And to do that, I started researching on which actions of mine are leading to emissions and how can I reduce them? But also how could I measure them? Because I felt that, you know, I couldn't keep up on this journey if I didn't, if I couldn't measure the impact of my actions. Um, and as I started doing that, something very interesting happened, uh, which is that one, I began to enjoy it. It almost became like a fun activity that I was doing with my family. And two, um, a lot of my friends, my relatives began to take notice, you know, and, and people around me started to come and say that it looks like you're doing something interesting and we would like to be a part of this. And from this, uh, you know, we uh, I thought, how can I take global citizens with me on this quest using technology? And from this, Cool the Globe came to life. Um, and so what the app does is that it helps people like you and I reduce our own greenhouse gas emissions to a target. So, uh, you know, as soon as uh, someone comes in the app, I will get a monthly target of reducing my carbon footprint. So my target for this month is to reduce my emissions by 30 kg. Um, and then I can, uh, in the app, I can see a host of simple day-to-day -day things that I can do in my life. And I can see the emissions that I avoided by doing that. 
Um, so for example, if I took this uh, call today from my home instead of going to the office, which is 10 kilometers away, I can see that I saved two kg of emissions or I did not use AC in my house. Um, in my office cabin, I can see I saved five kg of emissions. So um, I can see the impact of these simple day-to-day uh, -day actions. And then a lot of people also think, what difference can one person make? But we think that when a lot of us come together, then our collective impact can be very big. And I feel like this is the most important feature of Cool the Globe is that on the home page we have a global meter, which shows the collective emissions avoided by everyone combined. And, and that becomes the power of ordinary citizens coming together to fight climate change through this app. Okay. So you were figuring out your life's career path. Did you choose software engineering or, or app development? No, I didn't. In fact, I am a media student, so I had no background in uh, in any kind of app development at all. All right. So how did you go from an idea to an app that so many people are using? <laughs> so in our college at the time, we used to have something called a development sector internship, which means we would uh, have um, a two month period to go and work on a cause, uh, to go and work with some NGO, to go and work with an initiative that is doing something impactful. And I badgered my director at the time to let me start my own venture instead of uh, interning somewhere else. Um, and so I got this two month head start uh, and, and he finally agreed to let me do it. And we just learned everything that we had to on our own. You know, I, I learned, I, I think the good thing about the times we live in is that you can just, uh, you know, learn everything uh, on the internet. So we learned coding. My father helped me with the backend development of the app. Uh, you know, I learned UX and UI. We did lots and lots of research. And what started as a two-month project ended up being a three-year um, uh, three project. Uh, effort during my college. So, uh, you know, basically how we did it is that, you know, we just worked on it day and night and learned everything we had to. Um, and finally, by the time I graduated, Cool the Globe was launched. Okay. So you have a large number of users in India, but you also have users from all over the world. How are you basically expanding your reach so quickly? Yes. So um, when I launched the app, uh, you know, I, I realized that the real work has only just begun. You know, now the real task is in reaching out to people, convincing them that we can do something in the face of climate change. And so, uh, you know, I, we didn't have any tools, resources at the time. So I thought, let's just start from our own home and let's start making simple videos about what we are doing and what Cool the Globe is all about. And I made some videos in my home and, uh, you know, I, I sent it to people I knew, people who had supported uh, bringing this platform to life. And what happened next was something I could have never imagined. You know, so citizens from around the world picked it up, you know, people shared it with each other. And before I knew it, um, you know, people from around the globe were watching our videos. Over 4 million people were reached through these videos. Uh, you know, today we have users from over 100 countries. Uh, you know, people signed up as ambassadors for Cool the Globe, young people, old people, uh, you know, people from all walks of life. Uh, and, and they started, uh, you know, spreading the word. They started taking the simple actions in their day-to-day -day life. And as a result of these grassroots movements by citizens, you know, we were able to collectively avoid over 2 million kg of greenhouse gas emissions, which is the equivalent of planting about 20 lakh trees. Um, so I think, you know, we were able to reach so many people completely organically and completely through the power of uh, word of mouth. Uh, man, as a, as a marketing person, hats off. That uh, sounds amazing. Um, I mean, global warming, huge issue. It's so overwhelming. What's the best thing any of us can individually do? Um, so if there's one thing I have learned, even before I started working on Cool the Globe, my biggest barrier was that global warming seemed like such a huge thing that is beyond my scope. Um, you know, it didn't seem like anything I would do would have an impact on it. 
And moreover, I couldn't understand why I should care about something like this. You know, there are many issues that we see in our day-to-day -day life and global warming seem like uh, it's happening to somebody else at some other time. So um, I think the first thing we could do is understand that as ordinary citizens, we care about very simple things, right? You know, we care about our food, our health, our livelihoods. And most importantly, we care about our families and the people around us. Um, and when we realize that climate change is impacting all of this and it's impacting life as we know it, that's when we truly start caring about it. And that's when we want to do something about it. So that is the first step. And the second step is to know that, um, you know, if, if you look at, so when I was in school, I used to, you know, read about the history books and I used to read about the freedom fighters and the scientists and the innovators. And I used to think we live in such boring times, you know, uh, there's, there's nothing that I can do now that's going to be of much significance. But since the time I've started working on Cool the Globe, I've realized that we live in possibly some of the most uh, defining decades of human existence. You know, how we act now is going to determine not just our future, but the future of generations to come. So it's not just a responsibility, but it's an opportunity uh, to make a change and to make a meaningful impact. So our actions, small actions can make a huge difference. So the first thing we can do, each one of us can take a simple quest to reduce our own emissions by 10% every year to start with. And uh, you know, my action, when I take that quest, I have personally experienced this, can inspire 10 other people to also follow suit and can create a wildfire of change. So any big uh, transformation that is required as it is to fight climate change, it needs people like you and I to come in the field and start taking action in our own lives. So, um, so that's, that's what we can do, start small, but uh, start somewhere. Okay, so what's next for Cool the Globe and for you? <laughs> so I, I always think that this is just the beginning. There is a long, long way that we have to go. Uh, you know, uh, Cool the Globe today has reached over 100 countries from around the world. Um, but there is still more to come. 80% uh, of our users are still from India. Uh, so um, what's next is we truly want to reach the globe and we truly want to have citizens from around the world on this platform. Um, the second thing is that a lot of, when we launched Cool the Globe, a lot of organizations and communities and universities started approaching us saying that, you know, what can we do about climate change? So now we are launching um, a, a feature for communities in this app. Uh, feature for communities and organizations using which, uh, you know, they can integrate sustainability in their day-to-day -day operations uh, and truly make climate action a part of uh, part of that community. So that is uh, that is what's to come in the immediate future. Uh, future, but um, uh, I feel like, uh, you know, what we have, the number of users we have, uh, is is only the tip of the iceberg. In the next five years. Uh, we plan to get many, many more citizens on the platform and help people from around the world answer the question, what can I do about climate change? All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, I look forward to seeing more of your success. Thank you so much, Bobby. I had such a great time speaking with you today. And I, I, I hope this is the beginning, just the beginning of a very long association between all of us. And uh, thank you so much for whoever, whoever listened to this interview. I would love to speak with you personally as well.